hey y'all it's Mika I know it's been a while but I'm back with another tutorial I've been playing around with the idea of cutting my hair into an undercut for about a year and I'm still not 100% sold on the idea so in the meantime I've decided to cheat and create the shape and vibe of an undercut without pulling out those scissors So for this look, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair and I'll be using styling products all from Kinky Tresses. I sectioned off my hair similar to how you would section it off to prepare for an undercut. So in an upside down U or horseshoe shape at the top of your head. Then I secure the undercut section away, but first I moisturize each section with the Kinky Tresses Coconut Mango Hair Butter and seal the nut moisture with the Kinky Tresses Nourishing Hair Oil. And I did that to both sides so I can focus in on the top. For the top half of my hair, I moisturized large sections at a time with the Kinky Tresses Coconut Mango Hair Butter and sealed in the moisture with the Nourishing Hair Oil as well. Then I finger parted smaller sections and two strand twisted from roots to tips. Once I finished twisting all of that section, I secured all of my twists out of the way and I got started on the undercut section. I prefer to braid on dry and stretched hair so I added some of Kinky Tress's leave-in conditioner as well as their nourishing hair oil to my hair before I blow dried it using the tension method. Next, I parted my hair down the middle in the back and added three cornrows to each side. To conceal the ends of my cornrows, I braided them in an upward motion and tucked the ends under itself. All that's left for me to do is tie down my hair overnight with the confidence of a bomb twist out in the morning. All that's left to do is take down your twist the next morning. To avoid creating knots and thus creating damage, I try to unravel my twists at the ends then work my way up to the root. To create more volume, I separate my twists where they seem to naturally want to separate and to create more height, I simply pick at my roots. Also, if your hair is on the longer side, use a couple of bobby pins to control any floppy ends and to create the shape you're going for. This is a nice alternative to the tapered cut commitment and also a great way to get an idea of how you'd actually look in that style. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you try this style first or go right into that tapered cut life? Kinky Tresses products have time and time again done wonders on my hair and I hope that this video is enough to convince you that it's something you should definitely try out as well. Also feel free to check out my start to finish demo on using Kinky Tresses products from start to finish if you need a little bit more convincing. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. It means a whole lot. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.